What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster back here on this Thursday. I was going to say Friday, but it's Thursday, March 30th, 2023, about 10.56 a.m. And latest quake shows a 1.8, but we do have a pretty large earthquake coming into the Chile area just a few minutes ago. This is from a 6.3 earthquake. Looks like that is just off the coast of Chile. Let's go ahead and check it out here on the USGS map uh, in the location just south of Santiago, Chile. Uh, right around the area where we've seen the world's largest earthquake back in the 60s. The uh, Chilean earthquake. I believe it was a 9.5 uh, if I remember correctly. Either way, that 6.3 coming in here just into the upper regions of the Peru Chile Trench. Right around where the strain uh, tends to build. So kind of watching that. Uh, been relatively quiet down there in South America as you can see here on the map but again USGS only showing uh, the uh, 4.0 and above quakes looks like we may have seen some deeper movement quakes up north along the Peru Chile Trench in the uh, three category but for now 6.3 coming in to the Chile area so we'll watch out for uh, maybe some further movement six pointers are uh, quite common out there all right, uh, what do we got up here in Yellowstone, Western Wyoming area? 3.3 coming in. Looks like uh, within the last 45 minutes or so, near the Elkhorn Peak, five kilometers deep. Yes, we are still seeing the swarming area kick up here in the Yellowstone region. Looks as though they've added a couple from yesterday. Uh, doesn't look like they've covered everything. In fact, uh, only showing about 34 earthquakes here on the map for a total tally. Uh, and that includes all of yesterday and today of about 101 earthquakes up there at Yellowstone Lake, Yellowstone National Park. Um, yeah, nothing today, but I've been watching the seismographs here and, oops, wrong window. We have been, uh, there we go. <laughs> little moment there uh, we have been seeing some earthquake activity still on the yellowstone seismographs here which is this one right here and there's been uh it's been off and on all night la last night and this morning as well so the swarm is still continuing specifically within this area um just gonna watch and see how long it's gonna take them to put all these up there's quite a bit i'm sure Let's see what we got for the uh, Yellowstone thumbnails. That's from yesterday. So let's get the most recent uh, update here. There we go. Oh, yeah. So things still kicking up here. Looks like the closest station is going to be the Borehole B208 seismograph. And there's a little bit of activity, of course, there from yesterday and overnight. Uh, and a little bit this morning here as well. Not quite as in, as intense as what we've seen yesterday up here, but still an ongoing swarm at Yellowstone. I don't really see any migration of the swarming in it anywhere. Sometimes we'll watch the swarm switch around to a different location around the park, but for now it looks like it is holding steady around the Lake Yellowstone area of the of the super volcano and by the way the black line here kind of in a in an odd oval or circular shape is the caldera the volcano uh, caldera which is quite huge it is a super volcano but uh, for now just uh, some small mi microquakes and um again i'm kind of waiting to see when they'll pick up on this earthquake activity because last night uh, that's the last one, and we've had a bunch today. All right, uh, let's see here. Not for sure on this, if this is a legit earthquake or not. Forgot to check this. It has been reviewed. It was felt, too, by a few folks out there in Wyoming and uh, Idaho, it looks like. Just generally light shaking from a 3.3 at 5 kilometers deep. Rest of the country out here, the West Coast. Still seeing a little activity off on the San Andreas Fault near the Bay Area. And uh, general seismic activity along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Um, did not mean to do that. Trying to find the uh, 
2.5 map and above. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. There we go. Goodness. All right. Um, well, there's not a whole lot across the country as far as that goes. Uh, most of the movement out here in the east, all microquake activity. A little bit of movement out around the New Madrid seismic zone as well from yesterday. Um, don't think we've had anything today so far, but looks like maybe Tennessee, a little late night earthquake, 2.1. Aside from that, uh, let's see what else we got here. Western Pacific looking awfully quiet uh, with this movement out here along the Eastern Pacific up against the North American plate inland, I should say. Um, California is not... You know, sometimes California can be quiet. Sometimes we can see some swarming areas. Um, let's see when this activity was. It looks like from yesterday. A couple of those uh, smaller quakes. I'm not really seeing any specific swarms out here uh, that would indicate um, regional stress right now. But um, I think it's there, considering we're seeing this activity up uh, well in off the plate boundary there in the states in Wyoming. Um Middle America Trench here. Quite a few fours and some threes. Notice that activity. Lacking up here though. Nothing showing up here on the USGS map. Don't know why this area always gets gets skipped out. Uh, but there's some increasing activity here across the Middle America Trench region. As noted on the globe. The big island of Hawaii looks like it's lighting up a little bit. But not so much. A little 1.8 down in the uh, Pahala area. The latest quake there on the map. Alaska area, a couple ones and some twos, even a 3.3 .3 there early this morning outside the Cook Strait area. But uh, goodness, the Western Pacific, quiet. Let me see what's going on over here. Oh, got pretty deep quake here off the coast of Japan that's gonna be uh, this one right here 408 kilometers deep a little bit of subsequent shallow adjustment yesterday remember we did see some deeper activity down south here we made a, a little adjustment upstream now we're getting some deeper movement quakes here that tells me that this whole regional area is definitely under some strain that includes the Japan trench area uh, and, of course, the Kuro Kamachaka Trench, we all know about that. It's definitely building up some uh, heavy-duty strain in the area. So keep an eye on this region um, here today with that deeper movement quake showing some signs. Right about the northwestern edge here of uh, the Philippine Plate. A little deeper activity across the Sumatra area as well with that 4.0. Uh, really not a whole lot showing up here across this region, but we do know that this area, roughly about the middle section of the Java Trench northward, is um, definitely primed for some activity as well. Uh, across the rest of the world, Turkey area, Middle East, um, Eastern Afghanistan, a little smaller activity across this area today. Some fours around the Turkey area, of course that's very common with the uh, aftershock activity. From last month's bigger quakes there. Alright, uh, going to move on. Going to keep this kind of short. This update. Space weather activity. Looks like we did see uh, another strong flare overnight. An M5.4 from the parting sunspot 3256. Which is now way over on the southwestern limb. But still somewhat within view. Uh, really none of these other sunspots here harbor any major potential of flaring. So anything that does pop off will be from the uh, from that sunspot there, which harbors a beta, uh, I think beta delta, beta gamma class, 3256. All these other ones look fairly stable. 99% chance of C flare, M flare at 25, X flare at 10, and that is because of this sunspot. But the rest of these do not harbor that potential. Nothing major going on on the three-day uh, current aurora forecast there for the dark side of the Earth. Not a whole lot going on, uh, just very minimal potentials there across that area of the world. All right, folks, we'll be back a little bit later on. Have a good one. 
Stay safe out there and enjoy your Thursday.